टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आर्थोगनल ट्रैजेक्टरीज आर्थोगनल ट्रैजेक्टरीज द नेम इट्स सेल्फ हैज समीनिंग आर्थोगनालिटी मीन्स नाइंटी डिग्री एंगल शुड बी देर द नाइंटी डिग्री एंगल शुड बी वेर इट शुड हैव द नाइंटी डिग्री एंगल सो लेट अस डिस्कस सो द डेफिनेशन से दट ए कर् विच कर्ड्स ए वी रिमेबर आफ ए given family of curves at right angle so let us consider this example so you can see these lines you can see these are the number of lines here you uh, we have the number of lines again you can see the set of circles 1 2 3 4 here number of circles will be there let us consider so if you consider these lines and these circles these two are orthogonal to each other these two are orthogonal to each other that means uh, there is a 90 degree angle here here there is a 90 degree angle will be there so these two curves orthogonally cut each other so that is the concept behind the orthogonal trajectories if any curve cuts another family of curves at right angles then these two curves are said to be orthogonal to each other so here how we have to solve this type of problems means in cartesian form it is there here it is the polar form in cartesian form how to find out the orthogonal trajectory so first what you have to do is the you have to differentiate the given equation and eliminate the parameter first step is differentiate the given equation and eliminate the parameter second step is replace dy by dx with minus dx by dy replace dx dy by dx with minus dx by dy so if you observe this one if you multiply here uh, in we have product of the slopes is minus 1 for orthogonality here also dy by dx minus dx by dy so you will get the minus 1 next again solve the obtained equation is the third step for the cartesian form so polar form in polar form again first step is the same differentiate the given equation and eliminate the parameter second step is replace dr by d theta with minus r square into d theta by dr third step is the solve the obtained equation so consider one example y is equal to m and y square plus x square is equal to c square these are orthogonal to each other y is equal to m and if you the m varies you will get different number of lines if you get the different number of lines therefore uh, you will get the different number of lines therefore this is the different number of lines you will get like this y square plus x square is equal to c square that is nothing but the some circles as c varies you will get the different number of circles therefore these two are orthogonal to each other so let us consider how to find out an orthogonal trajectory of the given family of curves now we are going to find out the he has given a y square is equal to x cube he has given and a is the parameter for this um, family of curves you have to find out the orthogonal trajectories for this family of curves you have to find out a family of curves that cuts this uh, family of curves at orthogonal so what you have to do first step given equation i have written first step is the differentiation therefore 2ay dy by dx is equal to 3x square next what you have to do you have to eliminate the parameter from this equation how to eliminate the parameter a is the parameter so what i do i am doing here it is a is equal to how much a is equal to x cube by y square just i am substituting in place of x cube by y square so if you simplify this one you will get 2 into x by y dy by dx is equal to 3 so to get an orthogonal trajectory what i am doing here it is replace dy by dx with minus dx by dy so therefore you will get this step next what you have to do this next you separate the variables variable separable method therefore you will get 3y dy is equal to minus 2x dx just you do the integration therefore 3 into y square by 2 is equal to minus 2 into x square by 2 plus c if you simplify you will get 2x square plus 3y square is equal to c 
so that is that 2x square plus 3y square is equal to c is the orthogonal trajectories of ay square is equal to x cube that means ay square is equal to x cube and 2x square plus 3y square is equal to c are orthogonal to each other next we will discuss one more problem find the orthogonal trajectories of the curves r power n sin n theta is equal to a power n you have to find out the orthogonal trajectories of this family of curves so first step what i am writing here is r power n into sin n theta is equal to a power n now applying the logarithms both sides you will get n log r plus log of sin n theta is equal to n log a so next what you have to do differentiate this one you will get n into log r differentiation 1 by r r differentiation dr by d theta plus log differentiation 1 by sin n theta again sin n theta differentiation cos n theta n theta differentiation n it is equal to here it is the constant therefore you will get zero now the parameter has been removed from here therefore there is no need for substitution already the parameter a has been removed now n the here it is n is there here it is n is there if you remove this n you left with 1 by r into dr by theta plus cot n theta is equal to zero now what you have to do you have to replace uh, dr by theta with minus r square d theta by dr so this is that step so next if you simplify this one you will get the dr by r is equal to tan n theta so integrating you will get log r is equal to 1 by n log c can tan theta plus 1 by n log c therefore that is nothing but uh, if you simplify this one you will get uh, log r power n is equal to log c into c can tan theta that is equal to r power n is equal to c c can tan theta similarly we will discuss one more problem find the orthogonal trajectories of the family of cardioids r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta where a is the parameter therefore first you have to write the equation next you have to differentiate dr by d theta is equal to here you will get a sin theta a sin theta so what is our aim you have to eliminate the parameter anyway from the equation so from this one a is equal to how much a is equal to 1 by sin n theta into dr by theta a value is nothing but parameter value is equal to 1 by sin theta into dr by theta you just substitute this value in this equation therefore you will get r is equal to 1 by sin n theta into dr by d theta into 1 minus cos theta so if you simplify this problem dr by d theta is equal to r sin t theta by 1 minus cos theta you will get after simplification you will get r cot theta by 2 now you go for the replacing the dr by d theta with minus r square d theta by dr therefore you will get this step next uh, if you do the simplification dr by r is equal to minus tan theta by 2 d theta do the integration you will get log r is equal to 2 log cos theta by 2 plus log 2 c therefore uh, if you remove the logarithms both sides you will get r is equal to 2 into c cos square theta by 2 this is about the orthogonal trajectories thank you